Okay, repurposing is, you know, something I do all the time with everything I've got. So if you guys have watched our videos, which I know a lot of you have, and if you're, if you're new to our series of videos, you'll go back and you'll see that this is one of the things I love to do. Because the reality is, you know, just like you, I'm not running out every day to buy a whole new bunch of stuff. I have what I have. And over the years, I've collected this mix of stuff that I love and I don't want to get rid of. But I do want to find new ways to use it, and I do want to find new ways to, you know, change it up a little bit, put it in a new spot. So, okay, this piece is the perfect example. My secretary. I love her so much. She's such a gem. My dear friend, Sarah, had to convince me to get her because I didn't want to spend the money, and she was worth every penny. So my friend gave me this little push, and I've been happy as a clam ever since. Because, you know, you just just need a little push once around. Anyway, I love this thing. This was my desk for actually quite some time, and I loved it as a desk. It was just perfect for me. I had my big map right here and all my junk in here. But then we moved, and that's such a great thing because it gives you the opportunity to shake up all kinds of things in your world. So I thought she'd make the perfect bar, and doesn't she? Isn't she lovely? She has little glass shelves, a little, little dusty right now, so we won't zoom in too tight on those shelves. <laughs> Dust never hurts anything, as you know. And then lots of pretty glasses. So we design a lot of glassware, or if I'm out and about collecting glassware, I'll usually buy one or two or this kind of thing. I just think it's more fun and more interesting, you know, one of these and one of those. And, you know, some of this is, you know, glass from our wedding, and some is glass that I got at a flea market and whatever. You know, I just kind of buy it as I go. That's more fun and more interesting. Then you know a great big set of all the same stuff and then i always throw in you know a little bit of silver some old stuff a wonderful old picture i just have to give you the two second on this one okay this this photograph is one of my favorite ever this is um, a photograph of when john and i first moved to our farm in wisconsin and my birthday present when we first moved there was three pregnant ewes that's a sheep female sheep for those of you who don't know. Yep, three big darling fatties. I loved them so much and then and then they continued to um, procreate. <laughs> and at one point I think we must have had about 30, 30 little babies running around and then this is Judge, our, our big saddle bread, and then our goat and then our geese. All of these have long passed but I love, this one of my favorite photos. I love keeping it up and you know. That's special too, you know, to, to, to frame things that, that you have that are, you know, still part of your life in some way. Um, a little silver, a wonderful old box, you know, little eclectic touches I think are what makes a spot interesting. Don't worry about what color this is or that is. Things tend to go together. Who would think this darling orange tray would look so spectacular on this red and black chinoiserie? I love it. And there's a peacock on it. Shocking, I know. You know, my lovely, my lovely little friend, he's darling here, I love him, I love these tiny little lamps. Anytime you can find a tiny little lamp, um, even if it has a crooked shade, who cares? You know, and a few bottles of this and that. I love the way the paint is absolutely falling off of this thing. It's fantastic. I think the people who sold it to me had such a good price on it because I thought, I think they thought it was a bloody wreck. And I'm thinking to myself, oh, thank God it looks like it's falling apart. You know, you either like that kind of stuff or you don't. So anyway, another little spot, another little way to repurpose something. You've got lots of things in your home that you can repurpose in all kinds of ways. Just take everything off of them, move them to a new spot, and start over again. Kind of like life sometimes. <laughs>